Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last week, Microsoft also rolled out the latest Canary channel inside a preview bolt, bolt 27695. So just a quick overview as to what is new uh, in this early preview version of Windows 11. Now, the first so-called new feature that's rolling out to the Canary channel has already made its way into the stable version, which is a new position for widgets entry point on left aligned taskbars and I actually posted a whole video on this and I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen so your widgets now the entry point will move to the left of the system tray and will be wider so you can see richer content from widgets on your uh, taskbar and when you launch the widgets board um, as mentioned in that previous video it will now fly out from the right side instead of the left side so that's now made its way into the canary channel but actually made its way into the stable uh, version of windows 11 first for some strange reason let me just pop everything back there we go and then the next um new feature for uh, windows uh, 11 in the canary channel is windows laps you can now retrieve encrypted passwords during active directory recovery situations now that's quite a mouthful and this is more aimed at system admins and administrators and not for your average home user. So I'll leave the release notes for this latest Canary Channel build down below if you are a system admin and would like to get more information regarding retrieving encrypted passwords during Active Directory recovery situations with Windows Laps. So go check that out if you would be interested. And then just focusing on some changes and improvements. Now, first of all, I'm just going to mention this one. There's an insider preview build expiration. So the expiration date for insider preview builds flighted to the Canary channel, now Microsoft says, has been updated to the 15th of September next year, 2025, starting with build 27691, which is an earlier um, preview build in the Canary channel. So they say, please make sure you're updated to the latest build in the Canary channel. So if you are an insider in Canary, just take note of that important bit of information. And they also mentioned now that some insiders in the Canary channel will begin to see an estimated time for how long their PC will be offline to install build 27695. And this estimate will be shown on the Windows Update Settings page and via the Start Menu Power button. So what we are looking at here is the estimated time for how long a PC will be offline to install a build as shown on the Windows Update Settings page. And notifications, I'm just going to mention this next one for the notifications. Um, there's now an option to turn off the suggestions to disable notifications from certain apps. So when you, um, when, when you get an app notification, and I've posted on this previously, with that notification that pops up here to the bottom right of the system tray here on your desktop. You can press the three dotted menu within the notification to disable that said notification. And then Windows Share, once again, Microsoft focusing quite a lot on Windows Share in the stable and also uh, in the insider program, where they are also rolling out the ability to share content to an Android device from Windows Share window. And this has also made its way into the stable version already. So obviously this feature will require you to pair your Android device to your Windows PC using the link to Windows app on Android and phone link on your PC. And then widgets, also another feature that's rolled out for widgets to the stable version has also made its way um, in, uh, into the Canary channel where they're also rolling out an update to the widgets board to improve security and the APRs for creating widgets and feeds for users in the EEA region. So obviously that's region specific. And then there are five file explorer fixes which have also rolled out to the stable version. So um, I'll leave that video I posted in stable if you want to get more wind of those file explorer fixes. I'll leave that link down below and in the end screen. And then we get some other general task manager window sandbox fixes rolling out. And then because we are still very early here in preview, we are expected to see and get a couple of known issues. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.